YouTube, what it do? It's your boy Buddha Midtown coming at you with another video, man. Um, this video is gonna be titled uh, "All Women Are Wars," and uh, yeah, I'm gonna uh, give y'all some context uh, to this video. Um, so to tell y'all a little bit uh, about my situation and things like that. Um, Uh, my family, uh, as far as my mom's side goes, <clears throat> is uh, predominantly female. Um, now we have, uh, there are some little cousins that I have and stuff like that that are, uh, you know, male or whatever. Uh, but majority of the people in my family are uh, female. And uh, specifically, man, uh, my mother... Uh, which, you know, I love very dearly and she's very close to me. Um, she is a uh, feminist. Now, to what level, I'm not sure. But I definitely know she's a feminist. And um, what I do, man, typically is uh, I try to stay... Uh, not unaware to what's going on, but I, I play stupid to the female nature going on and the feminism going on and all this shit. And basically what I've discovered, man, is all women are whores, bro. Now, why are all women whores? Um, it depends on a girl's upbringing, you know? Now, what I will say is, um, as far as, uh, and, and, and you know, it depends, right? But in this world, you know, you're born a man, you know? Um, maybe you grew up without a father, maybe you grew up without a mother. You, you, you usually have one household or one parent, you know, typically. Uh, that's going to be the future of uh, all this other shit. The only people who are trying to stop it are 90s babies. But, I mean, dude, like, it's becoming a trend to not have children, have two parents. Which is stupid because if a kid has two parents, they're going to be stronger than a kid, uh, than, a pa than a parent, or than what a kid with one parent, usually, typically. And um, it's not always the case. And, um, yeah, man, all women are whores, bro. It's just facts. Um, eventually they, they get to the stage where they're being a whore or they're experimenting, whatever, whatever. And this is usually how it starts, right? So, usually most women become a whore mm, around sophomore year in high school. Now, sometimes it is, you know, before that, um depending on how much you developed and you know what people i'm talking body wise how much you developed who you surround yourself around and stuff like that uh because me for example man um and i have no shame with this like i wasn't fucking anyone until around freshman year of high school now i had friends and homies who were fucking uh in eighth grade seventh grade shit like that i think i, I mean i think i got a blowjob in like seventh grade or something but, you know, I wasn't focused on sex, really. I was more focused on fitness and uh, video games and, and shit like that. So I wasn't really focused on sex like that. I mean, not heavy, you know. So, but enough about men. You're a woman... Typically, depends on their upbringing and shit, but typically, most women don't become whores until about sophomore year. Why, right? Okay. If we're taking the typical arch architectural female, you know, and again, there's different, there's different, uh, not scenarios, but different, like, think of it as like starter packs. Like, they could be 
if you've ever seen a meme where it's like the starter pack, you have this, 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 and you know, whatever, like you're being born into a level um, or whatever. Some women come in with better starter packs than others and some come in with less. So I'm just going off a of base value, right? So let's just say you're a girl who comes to this high school, you're a freshman in high school. Um, you know, you've been going to your district's middle school, basically. Um, and, and junior high, whatever. And, um, you know, you may know a couple people here and there, whatever, whatever, but let's just say you go to high school freshman year and you don't know anybody. Maybe you have a, a couple, couple key girlfriends, whatever. Okay. So the first thing that a girl's gonna do is she's gonna get her surroundings for school and stuff. Now, women are smarter than men at some point um, as far as able to focus on schooling and stuff like that. Because I've seen guys who, they just cram shit, blah, blah, whatever. Some women, they're just better to do, they're just easier and can do that shit better. Now, freshman year, Typically, they're not looking for a boyfriend. If they are looking for a boyfriend, this is your best time. Not to necessarily keep the woman, but to um, imprint her. You know? Uh, because every woman has these two drives. And one drive is to have babies. The other drive is to explore dick. Right? Now, when a woman first has sex, that first guy, um, <sighs> yes, he could be the one and only guy that she has sex with, but typically, that's not going to be the case. Um, it, it, it can be. Now, don't get me wrong. It can be, bro. Like, you can fuck that one girl who's a virgin and keep her for the rest of your life, you know? But but typically, bro, what's going to happen is you're going to fuck that chick. You're probably going to slip up as a man, whoever. Um, and then she's going to essentially uh, use the her femininity, feminine, I can't even say the word, femininity, however you say it. And uh, she's going to portray you as the bad guy, whatever, whatever. And usually sometimes, it, it, I'll say like 60% of the time, it is her, you know, his fault because uh, a guy's mindset in high school is way different than a girl's mindset in high school. But uh, basically what happens is, is they fuck and they break it off for whatever reason. Then this is where the fun comes in for women, right? So they go to high school, it's sophomore year, they've had sex maybe once. Um, social media is around, so maybe they've had a little bit more sex during uh, summer. And high school, high school is almost like a breeding ground, bro. It essentially, and this is what people don't, some people understand this, but some people don't understand this. High school is essentially a fuck fest. Like, everybody fucks everyone. Um, as, uh, as long as you're hot, you know, as long as you have those tangible qualities, like maybe you look good, maybe you have a lot of money, um, maybe you're good at sports at the time, um, maybe you throw parties, whatever it is, maybe you're famous in the gaming community, whatever, and um, essentially, this gives everybody a freebie, which says, hey, you know, hey, I'll be your friend, but we're going to have to fuck. So a lot of these women, what they'll do is they'll have sex with those couple guys and they want to explore dick. They, some people call it the cock carousel. I call it exploring dick um, because typically most men, uh, it, it varies, but most men are five, you know, five inches, four and a half, six, five and a half, whatever. Um, and... Uh, to be honest, it, it, it all depends on how, like, your dick is built and shit. But five inches 
that can keep a girl, bro. Like, it can keep a girl. Um, but what happens typically is that five-inch dude doesn't keep the chick around. And then, you know, essentially she's looking for the most high-value dude she can get. Now, sometimes she might get a dude that's perceived on the same level as the first dude she had sex with, who's five inches. But then that dude might have better, uh, better sex game or his dick might be bigger or he has more money, whatever it is. And then what happens is, is she fucks the dude who has a bigger dick. And she's like, oh my God, he ha he's a bigger dick than the other guy. So I have to stay with him. And then even if you, even if she doesn't stay with him, you know, she's always looking for that next high because essentially like, you know, unless they have like uh, toys and shit, which they do use. But the fun of exploring dicks being on the cock carousel is you get to experience different sizes. And uh, essentially every time a new guy goes inside you and he's a bigger size than the last dude and you've never experienced is you get a high from it. Um, so, yeah, that's why she's exploring cock, you know throughout high school and shit um this is why i always tell people to get them while they're young bro if you can get a girl at 18 19 20 um and below you have a better chances of keeping her because at at that point she's she's went through her first trial which is high school and she is looking for a husband and this is this is what the woman thinks this is what the woman actually thinks between 20 and 18. She's thinking, okay, these are my three options. One, I settle down with a guy in my 20s. Like, you know, and it's not even 20s. It's 20 and 18, like between 20 and 18. I either settle down with a dude and we have a, a, a fairy tale story of how we've always... Uh, 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 been together since we were 20 to 18 or I stay single throughout my 20s and date, and date some dudes and hey if I get pregnant it is what it is and if I settle down with a dude in my, in my early 20s hey it is what it is or I just stay single until I'm 30 and then once I hit 30 I'll look for a dude again so those are our three options right <laughs> Most girls never experience the first option that I gave you or, or told you, sorry, that I told you. And that is because guys are not ready by the time they're 20. And I'll be the first to say it like, dude, I've had tons of good girls, tons of good girls, you know, that I could have kept along for the ride and could have been on my team and all this stuff. Um, but one, I, I notice... When they're 18 to 20, you can notice certain things about them um, because they're still in that kid stage. But then after they're out of the kid stage where it's like they're in their, you know, early 20s and shit, like 21 and up, then you can kind of notice certain things uh, about them and what type of woman they'll end up being. And yeah, man, it just goes back, it just goes to show you that all women are whores, bro. In fact, like, they want their pussy to get piled out and then expect you to get on one knee and take that pussy. Like, your pussy's not even that valuable no more. It's been dug out by so many people. Do you realize? And granted, it depends on the woman, right? But... To me, right, the most valuable woman is a woman who isn't stupid thick. I mean, she could be thick, right? Like, I love booty, right? But what people don't realize is, like, the thicker your ass is, the more meat you have on you as a woman, the more uh, loose your vagina is going to be. Not all the time, right? But sometimes. It's, it's just because your body is more wide than it is constricted and, and like little. So then by default, your pussy is going to be like more loose, basically. Um, 
So there's that. So the most valuable woman is probably a skinny woman, bro. Now, that doesn't exclude her from being a whore. But as far as the pussy goes, that is the the most valuable woman in my eyes. Um, that's just my opinion. Doesn't have to be yours. But long story short, man, all women are whores. Look out for them, bro. All they want to do is fuck dick. Even the good girls who say they're good girls. They just want to fuck dick, bro. You got to be careful. Because all they want is a kid. And then they'll use the system against you. <clears throat> so you got to be careful, man. You just got to be careful. Anyway... Uh, this is Buddha Midtown, and this is just a quick little video about uh, why women are all whores. If y'all have ideas or theories about why women are whores, please leave them in the comment section. Again, this is Buddha Midtown. Holla back.